the only reason that we call the Jackal Rangers is because of the bat, yeah. The locals said that it was really kind of important to the storyline. The Great Desert Skink is one of the main species that we're focusing on at the moment. We can help out with other animals as well, but um, this year we're really looking at Great Desert Skink. Today, in this workshop, we're just having a bit of a yarn here, but what I'm hoping that you'll get out of it is seeing what a jacara looks like. We've got one here. If you haven't seen it yet, you can have a good look. We, then we'll take it back to its burrow where we caught it a couple of days ago. Uh, we're gonna hear a little bit about the new national recovery plan and a new monitoring program that we are hoping to set up. Tim from Department of Environment just to talk for a couple of minutes about the new recovery plan. I'm from down in Canberra. Um, uh, I just want to acknowledge where I'm from and, and thank you all for having me on your country here. Through the Resilient Landscapes Hub, we've got Duggo and Stephen here from, it's based at the university, um, University of WA in yeah, down in Perth. They've given us some money to try and work with some scientists to work out a really good way of doing the monitoring. So he's looking at the data that we've got at the moment and sort of working out how big the plots should be for doing our monitoring sites, how many sites we need, that sort of thing. So then we can come up with a consistent method. And yeah, the purpose of the monitoring is to look at, at individual sites, how your numbers are going, if they're going up or down, um, to see if your management's working, but also to look at that national picture. And then I'd like to hear from you about what help we can give ranger teams um, to do more Jakara work. So whether you need funding or whether you need someone to come out and help, ranger exchanges with other experts. What areas do you know where you can still find? I only know one area, that's all I can see. Sangster's Bore. Yeah, I reckon that'd be a great site. Three active nest three areas, or three active animals? Oh, three active nests. Wow, that's great. Yeah, uh, 27 are actually wow. Yeah, and then we'll go out into the field and have a look at the, the tracks and scats and burrows. Yep, so it's all connected underneath. It's like a lot of doors and windows going into one. So that's what you look for when you're looking for a jalapa hole is this pile of guna. But usually it's bigger than this. When it rains, the dung beetles all come up and they just eat all the guna straight away. So there's not many scats there, just a few. So this is a quite a large one. Do you reckon that's a male? Do you reckon male? So that's sort of nearly is not a big boy, just a young boy. Young boy. So they get even bigger than that. Sometimes maybe nearly as big as your finger. Yeah. And this one, you can see, it's got a lot of little um, termite heads in the scats. That's what they eat: ants and termites. Oh, is that a fresh one? Oh, okay. Yep. You are listen to Alice. I'm blind. I'm going to carry me. Well, my brother, you know, eight pala, six pala, four umbrella. Well, you know, much and much and for a good one, and I'm like it. I'm no one. You are. So you're talking about all the family living there? Family, family, and lift your umbrella. Um, but what about sometimes Kunia goes down the same hole? Yes. Chab, when to go in. Go and a too. Go Yeah. Sometimes so kunia eat them. Yes, yeah, so they make it bread and eat it. Yeah. To water them. And sometimes murcha. You are double murcha. Murcha. The mogara. Jajina. Murcha. We call it. Jajina. Murcha. That's sometimes coming in here too. In the bar.
one. Yeah, so we're actually in the Kanati Peterman IPA. So if you can see where the memorial is. So that's the Yulara Boundary. So today we'll be doing a bit of a survey just while everybody's here all together. And the other reason that we call the Jackal Rangers is because of the bad year. The locals said that it was really kind of important to the storyline. Actually connected to the hill as well. Yeah, so there's a lot of stories there. So we're thinking so, we we'll would go on both sides of the road because we've got so many people if we're just standing in a big long so line. So we're just going to go on both sides. Yep. Yeah. And then we've got a few iPads. If we find some burrows, you can call over. Danae's got one and Hannah's got an iPad and they can show you the data that we record at the burrows. Old one, can't see any fresh piles of gunner. 